hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be making homemade caramel frappuccino you would need some ice cubes 100 ml of milk of any choice homemade salted caramel i can put up a recipe if you like that some hot water to make the um coffee so over here i used two types of coffees i used espresso and normal coffee so the first step is to pour in your coffee into your hot water and stir it Add your first teaspoon of salted caramel sauce into the hot coffee. Mix until it has dissolved. After the caramel sauce has dissolved, add the second spoon into the hot water again and mix until it has dissolved. At this point, you can add more caramel sauce but I, I didn't want mine to be too sweet because of the cream at the end so it's totally optional now I'm adding the milk into the coffee mixture after pouring in the milk, stir the coffee transfer the coffee into a blended jug in my case, I used my smoothie maker jug. Then you add your ice cubes. You can add as much as you'd like. Place the lid over the blender jug and get ready to blend. Now blend for a few seconds, making sure not to blend too smooth. Your mixture should look like this. Set the jug aside and get ready to make your cream mixture. Pour 100 ml of fresh cream into a stand mixer bowl and add your ice and sugar. I used 12 grams of ice and sugar. You can skip this step if you're using whipped cream in a can. But for me, I love to make everything fresh. I guess you can call me extra because I'm extra. Whipped cream and icing sugar mixture on medium high until soft peaks form. Your mixture should look like this. Lovely fluffy soft peaks. Make sure not to overbeat otherwise your mixture will go grainy. Get your iced coffee and pour it into a cup. Ooh, look at that. You can get away with making two cups of frappuccino with this mixture. Transfer your freshly whipped cream into a piping bag and pipe that yummy cream all over the cup in a circular motion. Oh wow, look at that. My piping was a little bit wonky because I was using one hand to film and the other to pipe, so forgive me. Using a small teaspoon, drizzle some caramel sauce all over the top of the cream, like so. Oh, that looks so delicious. Wow, yum. Voila, and you're done. Add a straw and sip that yummy goodness. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and comment actually if you'd like me to make a recipe for my homemade caramel sauce. Stay tuned for my next video. This will be a very interesting one. Anyways, have a lovely week and thanks for watching. 
au revoir